the internet. Always on, connecting me with you and millions of others. We are always operating two steps behind because of the way that the internet works. Crimes happening behind closed doors, buried in the depths of the World Wide Web. We rely upon parents, kids, and these companies, the tech companies themselves, to monitor and report things that they become concerned about. A watchful eye, a helpful tip. A catalyst that uncovers possible wrongdoing investigated by these men and women. The Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. So our focus is preventing and investigating the online exploitation of children. But the internet is global. I think the biggest thing is people need to realize it happens everywhere in every community. Which makes catching these criminals even harder. The issues of child exploitation online are only growing and they're probably only unfortunately going to get worse. Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, better known as ICAC, fights internet-based crimes with the National Network of Law Enforcement Agencies. Of the 61 federally funded units spread across the United States, Gainesville serves as the headquarters for North Florida. And the extent of that network stretches from big tech companies all the way to local police departments. For example, a social media giant like Facebook receives a report about an image on its platform. They would then send that tip to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. They then look into the case to see where the individual or group might reside. And if the crime does occur in North Florida, the contact is the ICAC headquarters at GPD. Investigators like Christopher King then determine the proper county and contact the specific department to assign them the case. Cases like the one of Jalen Kitna. The 19-year-old's arrest came after a Discord account believed to belong to the former University of Florida quarterback was flagged by the online platform. It used to be years ago um, that there was the stranger danger concern and it's the, uh, it's the creepy looking van that drives by in the neighborhood. Uh, when actuality is that your child has a much and, and far greater chance of being exploited online than anything happening in person. A statement from the Gainesville Police Department revealed that Kitna believed the images to be legal and that his Discord account was deactivated. It's the latest in an alarming trend for ICAC in North Central Florida. After receiving just under 2,000 tips in 2017, that number has quadrupled in just five years totaling nearly 8,000 tips in 2022. If you wanted to, to list uh, five sites that you're familiar with, I could probably tell you that we've received cyber tips from those providers. With the bulk of investigations being under what King calls the age questionable range. Uh, the unfortunate reality is a lot of our actionable investigations tend to be prepubescent children. So I, I kind of want the public to understand that part of it, because oftentimes I think some of these investigations get kind of um, pushed off to the side and not looked at seriously because they think it's maybe a 16, 17 year old who's communicating with an 18, 19 year old. To help build and bolster the network that deals with these cases, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement hosted the Crimes Against Children Conference in Orlando. With over 800 attendees from across the globe, law enforcement agents, lawyers, judges, and mental health experts had the chance to learn and meet with those involved in the fight against child exploitation. The internet is not unique to a certain city or county, it's global. And in this kind of training like this brings agencies from across the world here to learn the same material to meet each other and become a much larger network to fight this crime. It's a fight to bridge the gap between the dark depths of the internet and law enforcement. Um, it used to be, you know, 15, 20 years ago, maybe, maybe a little bit even longer ago, we had to get out of our house to actually have contact with a stranger. But nowadays, you can pick up the, the phone in your pocket right now and have access to thousands of people um, and millions of people throughout the world. In 2022, Gainesville Police completed 96 total investigations of child exploitation. That number includes 17 arrests from 327 subpoenas and 105 search warrants. As for Kitna, he is currently home in Texas with his family after posting bail. King and his team will still be responsible for the processing of evidence, but the case now turns to the state attorney's office. Chris Will, WUFT News.